we can't have you on and not talk to you about Tesla, right? Yeah, we got yeah. those earnings uh, over the last 24 hours here. The company is on track to add as much as $80 billion to its market cap. What do you make of the bullishness surrounding this earnings print, and how do you think Tesla can continue that heading into next year? Look, there was it was, in my opinion, a news-heavy uh, earnings release and also call uh, conference mm -hmm. call there with with investors. Um, a lot to go through, right? So obviously, profit beat here very nice, improving margins. People are very happy about that. But also, Tesla said they had a possibly for a slight growth in volume this year, which means a big four Q is coming. And then also, Elon said in the call. He sees 20 to 30 percent possible volume growth next year. So I think a lot of people grabbed onto that as, as a very kind of positive thing. They talked about the cheaper EV, right? Now, they say it's coming, and it's not going to be the $25,000 car people think it is. That's, mm -hmm. Elon said that's the cyber cab. This car will be a cheaper EV. Maybe it's going to be 30 to 35. They didn't say, but that's what we're expecting to see. Coming cheaper than the Model 3. Uh, also, they said they're testing robotaxi ride hailing in San Francisco, which is kind of a surprise. It's actually happening. Tesla employees are doing the ride hailing right now, and there's a safety driver driving. Now, here's the thing. There's no video evidence. There's no documentation. There's no pictures of this. So I kind of we want to see that actually in action yeah. before we can actually say this is happening. Uh, finally, um, they said energy storage business was doing quite well. Yeah. It's growing super high margins, and it's going to double next year's their expectations. So I think there's a lot of little elements there that are really driving the stock here today uh, up a lot right now.